فرودگاه اینه تور سیدی Enjoying climate change The power went out on a summer's night What a treat to see The natural skyline over Balbriggan in summer Dripping with God's blood Tonight is the slaughter of the lambs A few hours ago I was roaming with these mutting clouds Sweltering in the sun, arms running with sweat as I made efforts up the hills of me and my bike. Now in a matter of four hours, the weather has gone from July to October. When light goes out, at sudden, at the dead of night, that's when you're greeted with your own death. I'm not going to lie. I am enjoying this lonely dark with the television gone, my battery radio for company, and a candle that flickers lightly, dancing shadows immensely. And I enjoy the change and the disorder it brews up. Oddly enough, the weather wasn't too bad when the blackout happened. The weather is now biblical, especially for this time of year, July. Soon I'll be in my own wine blackout. Let me be vain from tiredness and continue this as factual news entry. Pose corners might come out again, but alas, the lights are back on. And the atmosphere is gone. So that ended quickly. And the feckin' telly switched itself on. Took over the conversation. I switched off instantly. The idiot box, but the moon has changed. Oh, that was nice. I see what she was going to do there. The Balbriggan Telescope This is the story of Balbriggan I don't know what gives me the right to write this story I don't know my expertise on this town or my history in this town that would Queet to me its place as a historian. I will write this down badly and fondly with little edit. Mistakes will be embraced and bad prose licked up into your mouth with words of nonsense. I have no time for perfection. Success is the road to boredom, malaise and that horrible thought, which I won't bother mention. The place of obvious has no meaning to me. The place of success is just a dopamine buzz. Hanging. Let's go beyond that. That chase of the second ahead and the simplest pleasure it will give. Let's go into the future to hit you and go back a thousand years into the past. That's right. It's wrong. My writing on the history of Bob Reagan will match the weather of Ireland. Is it coming? Is it going? That cloud on the horizon, black with menace, has been doing this thing for a million years. It's literally defeated mountains, worn you down into the ground. 
And yet, you get upset if I say Gemma O'Donnery or Migrants in Wexford. Has it ever been just words in this flight of passage through all the words that follow Ness? The Loch Ness monster finally makes sense. It's clear, it's steer. What else is it? You don't care. I am the where I am motion of the world. The thing chasing a thing thinking thing mean thing. Whatever you remember happened for a reason. If none of this makes sense, that's the point. Before we go on, I've got horror stories that make horror stories that are real, seem lame. <laughs> Behold, Everybody walks on St. Pat's Day as the Wuhan flu blesses your mighty refrain against the will to desire. All the streets are empty things wasting away into the place where space can breathe. The virus walks down the street and feels alone. The poor thing can only infect you in your home. The walk of virus that's been here before from bat in caves long ago. Let me jump from you to flu, says the man. Says, says the Batman flu dreary merry it drinks of the kindness of man's inclination to proximity the scope for the past is long gone as you wrestle with the poor quest against morality do you feel sick do you feel tired? <laughs> of course you don't. Bob Regan, you are winning. I'm sorry, I'm stopping this. This is just fucking not from here on in. I need to go to the toilet. Uh.